It is time for sports right now here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio. I guess we can start off with the National Football League, as I said. If you go back and listen to the broadcast uh, yesterday, uh, the game uh, last night should not have been close. Uh, The uh, uh, first place Ravens uh, should easily have handled uh, the uh, Miami Dolphins. Uh, But I did say, of course, this was the NFL. And who handled who? The Dolphins' defense stymied the Ravens, uh, and uh, they defeated the Ravens last night by a score of 22 to 10. 22 to 10. You just can't figure out what what will happen in the NFL. Honest to gosh, uh, the real good teams lose to the poor teams. The poor teams uh, come up and bite the good teams in the rear end. It really is absolutely pretty amazing. But that's what it is. All right, so we've got uh, the Thursday night game out of the way coming up this weekend in the NFL. One o'clock games feature the Bills at the Jets, the Buccaneers at Washington, the Falcons at the Cowboys, Saints at the Titans, the Jaguars at the Colts, the Lions, who have yet to win, at the Steelers, The Browns at the Patriots. Now the 4 o'clock games for Sunday. Vikings at the Chargers. The Panthers at the Cardinals. The Eagles at the Broncos. The Seahawks at the Packers. And the Chiefs at the Raiders. The Monday night game will feature the Rams at the 49ers. That is a look at the NFL schedule. Um, Other sports news to talk about. Let me see if I can bring this up. Uh, I'm not sure whether I can or not, but I, I'm going to try to do it. It's a story about one of my favorite players in baseball. He's just a real good guy. And, um, and I'm glad he's with the Yankees. Um, anyways, Aaron Judge uh, has said he would love to be a New York Yankee for the rest of his career. He was named an American League Silver Slugger. He hit 39 home runs during the season and said in a Q&A that he wanted to be with the organization for the next 10 years, but made it a point to say he can't predict the future. Quote, that would be a wish of mine, a goal of mine, to finish my career as a Yankee, but you never know what the cards hold. If it were up to me, I'd be a Yankee for the next 10 years for sure. Uh, That is uh, Judge. He has another year left before he can be an unrestricted free agent. The Post noted that the Yankees do not usually sign anyone to a contract extension before they're eligible for free agency, but general manager Brian Cashman has made it clear that the outfielder is a special case. Now, when Judge is healthy, as he was last year, he's probably as dangerous to plate as any of the best sluggers. Uh, His 39 home runs came in 148 games and were the most since he hit 52 home runs and won the American League Rookie of the Year Award in 2017. And the 148 games he played last year were the most he's played since the 2017 season. Of course, the Yankees have a lot of decisions to make uh, this offseason. They've been uh, rumored so far. Two free agent shortstops, Corey Seager and Carlos Correa. The team has also reportedly been interested in the Pittsburgh Pirates outfielder, Brian Reynolds. So we'll have to see what happens. But uh, uh, I, I like Aaron Judge. Uh, I, he's, one of the, he's one of the good guys, and I hope he stays with the, uh, with the Yankees for uh, a long time. Uh, Some uh, scores yesterday in the NBA. The Raptors over the 76ers. The Clippers beat the Heat. Uh, and uh, see if any local teams uh, saw action last night. Uh, no, but coming up today, the Knicks take on the Hornets, and the Bucks take on the Celtics in the NBA. Uh, taking a look at the National Hockey League last night, no local teams saw action. And uh, looking at today's schedule, No local teams. Tomorrow, the Bruins will take on the Devils. The Rangers will take on the Blue Jackets. And that's it. 
Then on Sunday, the Canadians take on the Bruins. The Devils and Rangers will clash on Sunday. And on Monday, the Islanders will take on the Lightning. So uh, that is uh, our check on sports. Once again, the Giants have the week off. Uh, it is their bye week. All us Giant fans can relax and just watch the other games and not worry about what's going to happen with the Giants. Uh, that's a check on sports this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.